Hello. Well, uh, today I just wanted to say that uh, it's finally December. It's the last month of the uh, year, and uh, hope everyone's had a good year so far. Uh, hope everyone's year has uh, not been bad. Uh, I've had a pretty good year. Can't really complain. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, um, yeah. I just wanted to come here and just say, you know, uh, been fairly, uh, you know, busy with YouTube in terms of amount of content over the last few months, getting all that stuff I want out uh, for the last few months, and I've already completed all of my. Uh, stuff for uh, um, uh, everything I want to talk about with movies all this month, all the screen films that I talked about last time. You know, I've already gotten all those done and uh, I also got basically what you saw last month done prior to that. Something I've <clears throat> enjoyed doing and in the last video I'll, uh, of the year, I will say something about what I plan to do next year. And I might make another video uh, before the year is done, uh, maybe elaborating on that more. Um, but yeah, um, of course, I've also uh, <laughs> made a short film. Uh, just, you know, about mundane life and how... Sometimes it's like, you know, somebody wants to just get out of a rut. And so I did that, and I did that with, uh, just as a way to just make a move, a little short film, as well as sort of to prove, like, I, I guess I can act <laughs> fairly competently. Um, I never thought I was a bad actor ever. Um, but, you know, sometimes you gotta just do stuff to, uh, showcase uh, you have talent if you do or at least you think you do you you know you might want to prove it to yourself and maybe others that you are fairly talented in more areas than just one or two so I did that also uh, that for that reason and another other reason is because you know I just wanted to do something you know I've thought about making short films before but they always had multiple people, and I'm sure if you know, sometimes it's not very easy to get um, people involved in a project, no matter if it's a short film or not. <clears throat> and it's like you only need them for like only one day only, and then nothing more, like as long as all the scenes are that you need them for are done and complete, and everything they do and say like give a fine performance all that is good and there you go and then you can take it from there and if there's anything else with just you then there you go and that's all on you if it takes another day or two fine but you know sometimes it is hard you know unless you're like a some sort of big name or have some sort of uh popularity or following online getting stuff like that done isn't always the easiest thing and it's sort of sad uh, in a way because, you know, depending on, you know, in so many of these cases, you don't necessarily get paid. And so you're doing it for fun. You're doing it because you like, you know, acting or making movies or whatever. But then there are some people who, like, if they're going to do it, like, take time out of their schedule to be part of it, they want to be compensated in some way. And, um, sometimes that's not necessarily an option so if somebody is actually a right for something and you aren't able to uh, compensate them in any way they won't do it and that's just unfortunate um, well that's not my, necessarily the case for me you know it's that you know the people I would want to be involved you know either they are very busy or maybe they're just not interested and so 
the latter is the case, and it's like, well, that's unfortunate. Like, they don't want to do anything like that, so... And it's like, and you think they would actually be good for something, but then if they have no interest in it, then it's like, it's kind of hard for you to really convince them in a way that doesn't sort of guilt trip them, because if you guilt trip them, that might not be for the best, because then they might not give give it their all, and then it's like they're just sort of phoning it in, and that's not good. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, that was that with the short film. I want to do something with I could do with for my, by myself. I'd have to have somebody else with me, and, um, and I think it turned out pretty good. You know, I think it turned out uh, pretty decent. Um, it would be cool to do something else. You know, I have a few ideas, but you know, of course, you got to just pick one and then see, you know, from there, what one you can, what one would work for the time. Um, if it's just gonna be me again, all right. Um, or if I can get like another, like another person, friend, or something, and that might work too. Uh, but you know, I have to see. I don't know when that will be. I don't want to say it'll be this month or next. You know, I don't want to make any plans because last time it was sort of an impromptu thing. Um, it was like I was really in the mood to make something, had an idea of what I wanted to do, and I did it, and then uh, I was happy with it. And so that's where I was with that. And that might be where I am with whatever I do next, uh, uh, short film wise. Um, so there's all that with the short films and such. Um, another thing pertaining to the very last like film talk video is I forgot to mention one movie I also got between the time I had my last Blu-ray update and that one like earlier in the summer, and then this last one. Another movie I did see this year in the theater, and finally got, like when it came out, um, but forgot to, for whatever reason, I guess I was too busy, you know, talk about certain movies that I really got that are like 4K and stuff, like 4K upgrades was the big thing, and then some of the other stuff, like, you know, the Criterion Blu-ray of Mona Lisa I got and the 4K and Blu-ray of Uncut Gems and the situation with Citizen Kane, you know, I forgot to mention this, Stillwater. Um, now, I made a video about this. Um, great film, uh, in my opinion, and great performances by everybody involved, particularly Matt Damon. Um, you know, he really plays a character that is very different from himself. You know, his he's a very liberal person. I think everybody knows that, you know, politically. And his character here is in the interviews, not so much in the film. It's only addressed once, but then it's gone as soon as it's pretty much mentioned as like, you know, his character is like a Trump supporter. You know, he doesn't vote for Trump because he says that he has a record and so he couldn't vote. You know, like if you have a record in America, can't vote uh, unless you're able to pay a certain fee or whatever that will then give you your rights to vote back you can't vote until then so yeah so that clearly wasn't the case for him but you know um, yeah he uh but aside from that but yeah he, he really gives a, a solid performance really well done Got to mention this, but I thought it's worth mentioning here. Um, yeah, really good to watch it again, and um, yeah, just a very good, uh, very good film. Um, I think it's a film that has that if got nominated for an Academy Award, if it was for like Matt Damon's performance, I don't think that would have been at all a bad thing. Um, whether or not he would win if nominated is another story altogether, but this is a very fine film, um, worth watching for sure, uh, I think at least, um, you know, uh, Ulrich, 
uh, rough neck from Oklahoma, travels to Marseille to visit his strange daughter who was in prison for a murder that she said she didn't commit. So, you know, very, it's, a, it's definitely a drama. Um, though some of the trailers kind of make it look like it's a sort of also a thriller when it's not. Um, but, yeah, keep that in mind. If you've seen the trailer then you watch the movie and you're a bit disappointed, it's not really supposed to be like a thriller, but, you know, I just want you to know that uh, before going in if you haven't seen it already. So that's the other movie that I got that I forgot to mention. Um, and, of course, with the Citizen Kane thing, um, more stuff has come out about what they're going to do, what Criterion's going to do with Citizen Kane's Blu-ray, on the first Blu-ray disc and all. Um, <clears throat> you know, they're, uh, they, they're going to have people mail in their defected discs, and then once they have the error corrected, they'll send everybody uh, discs, Blu-ray discs that are corrected and work fine. Um, people are now questioning exactly what happened, what kind of quality control is going on. People have been speculating, and I've even thought it could also be a manufacturing problem. You know, somewhere in the manufacturing, something went wrong. And so perhaps people looked at the initial Blu-ray uh, release and there was that absolutely no problem whatsoever. So then when we went to manufacturing to have all the multiple discs made, something happened, went wrong. And then for that, from 30 minutes to the very end of the film, there's this error that goes on like with sound. And some people said something with the picture and stuff. And I don't know all exactly because... You know, I don't have the film. Um, I went to Barnes & Noble, as you know, in person to get the film. Wasn't there. A bit confused. Found uncut gems, which I was happy about, but I was also just wondering what, what what's going on with uh, Citizen Kane. Finally was able to get somebody to let me know that uh, there was a recall because of an error on the Blu-ray disc. And so... Every copy was recalled, and so, yeah. Um, hopefully they will announce something soon about things have been fixed, and they will ship out the replacement discs, as well as all the, you know, as well as Citizen Kane being in Barnes & Noble stores, available on the website of Barnes & Noble, and I guess even... On, on Criterion's website now I haven't checked Criterion's website in a bit so I don't know if there's any news there I, I am subscribed to their newsletter that they send out here and there throughout the week but none has ever said anything about the problem with the discs so there's that I'm a bit surprised at that but you know and some people are complaining about the whole having to send, like, to mail in, you know, having to pay postage, you know, you know, right, wherever you live in the world, you know, here in America, especially the, uh, how things are now financially, people aren't happy with that. And especially people who don't live in America, who will have to wait not only longer to get their Blu-ray, you know, 4K Blu-ray and all that stuff, um, set of it but then having to then you know with likely the disc with the error in that set having to then probably having to mail it back and then having to wait even longer than us here in America I guess even North America I guess I should say um, to wait <clears throat> to get that copy um, it's gonna be even longer for me, all I'm going to do is just wait until there is official word that everything is fine and the error is completely corrected. Um, and I know there are people who are comparing this error with the uh, uh, Shout Factory, Scream Factory edition of the Friday the 13th box set and how, you know, 
all those of us who bought and paid for the uh, uh, box set, you know, pre-ordered it or whatever. You know, we got the set and those discs that had errors. We didn't have to pay for anything. All we had to do was fill out something that they requested us to fill out within an email, as well as say what kind of discs have problems, as well as, um, you know, proof of purchase. So that's like, you know, a screenshot of your order. So you do that. Um, once the uh, errors are corrected, they will then send out the discs. That happened with me, happened with others. And so I was happy. It was no more, no more money on my part or anyone else's part who bought that set uh, before it came out. You know, you know, we pre-ordered it or whatever, and there was no, you know, any kind of extra fee we had to pay for like postage and such for sending the discs in the mail to get new ones. Um, some people were saying that that should have happened with Criterion. Um, and some say it could have been like some sort of like, you know, lack of quality control due to the whole virus and stuff and having to cut costs and such and get rid of some people. But I would think uh, Criterion would want to keep all the best people they could, you know, let go of some of the new people who aren't so experienced in certain aspects, you know, probably understandably tell the people who they're going to keep who do the best job like you're going to have to cut back on your pay a bit but you get to still work here and i'm sure they would be very understandable understanding about that i should say and be but also thankful that they get to keep their job and don't have to worry about you know having to find a new one in the midst of whatever kind of lockdown situation people uh, we're living in last year, you know, some lasted very short, like for me, where I live, things were very quick, others have had lockdowns and happen off and on throughout the last year and even this year, so everyone's situation is different, but I don't know, I would think a, a company like Criterion would want to keep all the best people they have possible and to just make sure everything is uh, good so stuff like quality control like this sort of stuff would never <clears throat> would have no problem there would be no problem like catch it early on and then fix it before the release you know you, you would think and hope for something like that uh, and again maybe my thought of the manufacturing part <clears throat> that some sort of error happened could be very likely um, I would like to think that's the case, but I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't know exactly what went on, of course. And I'm sure they're trying to figure out exactly what happened as to how this got past them. And uh, I'm sure they're going to do everything they can to make sure this doesn't happen again in the future. Um, so, yeah, that's all I really have uh, to say regarding... That whole Citizen Kane and 4K through Criterion, um, as well as short film stuff that, you know, hope to make more, but we'll see what happens, as well as mentioning the one film I forgot to talk about last week. Um, it's a good film, too. Um, yeah. Anyway, hope you're all uh, ha having a Good day. Hope we're all having a good week. Hope your Thanksgiving weekend was great if you celebrate it here in America. If you didn't, hope your weekend was great wherever you are in the world. And hope this upcoming weekend will be good also. See you all next time. <clears throat> Bye.